Hello, this is Frederick Cannon speaking. I'm from Laval University, Quebec City, Canada. So today I'm going to talk about this paper that will be published in the journal Brain, in which we show defective insulin receptor in the brain of people that are, who have suffered from Alzheimer's disease. So first a few words about insulin. It's an hormone. It's produced by the pancreas, especially after we eat. And its action is mainly in the periphery. But insulin can also reach the brain. And there are some evidence that insulin can have benefit on memory, cerebral blood flow, eating behavior, and a whole regulation of metabolism. But the majority comes from the pancreas. So it has to interact with what we call the blood-brain barrier, which is located between the blood and the brain. Everything that goes into the blood will interact with this blood-brain barrier before having an action on the brain. And this is the case for insulin. So there's a lot of question marks about how insulin interacts with the brain. So the first question we try to answer is where are insulin receptors in the brain? And what we found is that most of these receptors are actually located on blood microvessels. Like you can see here in red, and the colocalization in yellow or orange shows clearly these blood vessels that are labeled with an antibody targeting insulin receptor. This is another example in the hippocampus. We can see all these strange shapes, but these shapes are actually blood vessels in the brain, labeled with insulin receptors. So the answer is that mostly in blood vessels, actually in the, the blood-brain barrier. And next, what we show is that there's less insulin receptors in the brain of patients with Alzheimer's disease. <coughs> What we show here in red, we see a decrease in the number of insulin receptor specific subunit alpha isoform B. So it's a specific kind of insulin receptor that is specifically decreased in the brain of people with Alzheimer's disease. And what we think is that when insulin interacts with the receptor, well, it has actually less receptor to interacts, so this decreases the signaling and the effect of insulin on the brain. What's interesting is that we have a special model in which we inject insulin into the carotene of mice, and then we can look at the effect of the insulin receptor in the brain of these animals. And what we show here is that the in normal animals, the non-transgenic, we see a response in the brain. But in the triple transgenic, which is a model of Alzheimer's disease, we see much less response in the brain. So this suggests that there is something going on in Alzheimer's disease that contributes to insulin receptor, uh, it, so, sorry, insulin resistance, that this is located specifically on the blood-brain barrier. So to summarize, what we show in this study is that the blood-brain barrier is, the, is where insulin meets the brain. We show that more clear, clearly in this uh, publication. And we also show that the blood-brain bar barrier is where brain insulin resistance occurs in Alzheimer's disease, because before that it was thought to be more in neurons. And we have also a mechanism in the paper in which we show that an enzyme called base 1 can possibly cleave insulin re receptor, just like it cleaves APP to produce beta amyloid in the brain of a person suffering from Alzheimer's disease. We think that the similar mechanism occur uh, for insulin receptors and may explain this decrease in insulin receptors that we see in uh, Alzheimer's disease. And the good news is that if the majority of an insulin receptor is allocated on blood microvessels in a brain, it suggests that they can be targeted by drugs. So I'd like to thank my, my team, Manon, who did most of the work, with Cynthia, 
and Philip. So thanks a lot for your attention.